the 2015-2018 BMW R1200 rupees. BMW launched its newest sport tour model, the R1200 rupees in 2015, and the model is a carryover into the 2018 model year with some upgraded goodies last year and this year. Beamer combined the top-shelf automatic stability control, optional electronic suspension adjustment, dynamic traction control and variable power delivery modes with a rather sporty platform, both in form and performance. The 1170cc, twin-cylinder boxer engine delivers power numbers that would embarrass many pure sport bikes and drives the RS into the realm of high-speed, long-distance riders. Continue reading for my review at the BMW R1200 Rupees. Design The bike isn't as stodgy as one might imagine and it carries itself with a bit of grace while stopping well short of any gratuitous flash and flare. Beamer's RS series has always been about touring comfort since the original brought its fixed fiberglass fairing to the market back in 1976 with the R100 RS, and this newest incarnation tows the family line with tour-tastic features that should take the edge off the longer jaunts. I gotta say, the sport aspect of the design is certainly more apparent than the tour aspect, at least at a glance. The sporty front fairing mounts something more like a proper windshield than the usual speed screen, fly screen we see on straight up sport bikes, but beyond that, the looks are fairly sport typical with upper lines that tumble down the fuel tank to the deep scoop seat before hopping up to the tapered tail. All very street bike ish, and I have to gig Beamer for the lack of stock baggage. Yeah, I know, touring means different things to different people, but for most Americans the word carries the expectation of some sort of cargo capacity. Granted, a traipse through the accessories catalog is enough to cover any shortfall in the equipment department, but to me anything with tour anywhere in the name or category should come with stock bags. Beyond that, the rider triangle allows for an upright and relaxed riding position with room to lean forward into a sportier stance. Overall, the bike isn't as stodgy as one might imagine, and it carries itself with a bit of grace while stopping well short of any gratuitous flash and flare. One thing is for certain, the 32.2-inch seat height is going to be a trifle tall for shorter riders. Chassis The steering geometry is set up for relatively stable, straight-line travel, even at high speed, without sacrificing too much in the corners. Beamer uses a bridge-type frame made of tubular steel members as the foundation with a stressed engine arrangement that uses the mill to replace part of the frame structure. This lightens the frame and lowers the engine mass to keep center of gravity close to the ground. The single side swing arm pulls double duty as a housing for the drive shaft, which is an arrangement that keeps the rear end of the running gear nice and clean, if not simple. Built for precision handling and braking rigidity, the frame shows its superbike roots. Steering head angle is set at 62.3 degrees according to the factory, but Americans will call it 27.7 degrees because reasons with 4.5 inches of trail. No matter what you call it, the steering is set up for relatively stable, straight-line travel, even at high speed, without sacrificing too much in the corners. Now for the top shell suspension. A pair of 45mm forks buoy the front end, and run in the USD configuration that has great torsional resistance and lateral stiffness for a rock-solid front end. The swing arm works with a wad strut that comes with a handwheel preload adjuster and adjustable rebound damping, and components at both ends give up 5.5 inches of suspension travel at the axle. Honestly, the non-adjustable front end is a bit surprising, somehow I expected Beamer to at least throw on some adjustable parameters, even on the stock model. At least the factory offers the option of upgrading to the Dynamic Electronic Suspension Adjustment ESA, that comes with two separate damping presets that reads the conditions and electrically adjusts the suspension accordingly. Sort of a set it and forget it system that totally precludes the need for tools or handwheels. Dual 320mm front brake discs work with four pot, opposed piston calipers to slow the front wheel, and a single 276mm disc and twin pot caliper binds the rear. BMW's own integral abs provides over brake protection, and can be turned off if you want the feel of standard brakes or maybe just want to do some burnouts. Drivetrain 
A variety of alphabet soup text systems are available, such as ASC, Corner Optimized ABS, DTC, and Rider modes. The driving force behind the R1200 rupees comes from the flat twin boxer engine that is so typical of the brand. Dual overhead cams actuate the four valve heads, and the engine dumps waste heat through a combination of air and liquid cooling. Massively over square, the 101mm bore and 73mm stroke add up to 1170cc total displacement, and the power figures are about what one would expect, 125 horsepower at 7750 revolutions per minute and 92 pound-feet of torque at 6500 revolutions per minute. A ride-by-wire system manages the electronic fuel injection and enables the use of a number of features. On the stock model, the ABS wheel speed sensors feed data to the automatic stability control that functions like traction control in that it modulates engine output as needed to preserve the contact patch integrity. The stock bike also comes with two riding modes that deliver power on different curves. You can upgrade this function with Ride Modes Pro that adds two more engine control profiles, to include a user programmable one, and a lean angle sensing, dynamic traction control. Included in the Ride Modes Pro from 2017 is corner optimized abs in the form of 5AC abs. This system cranks out a decent 57 mpg at 55 miles per hour, which is respectable to be sure, but the 12.5 to 1 compression ratio sets you up for premium gas pain. Pricing MSRP is just a tad more than last year. MSRP for 2018 starts at $15,245. Last year's Lupin Blue Metallic has been replaced by Blackstorm Metallic for 2018. The two-tone Frozen Bronze Metallic and Blackstorm Metallic colorway is available with the Style 2 package that includes a color-matched engine spoiler, gray frame, gold calipers, and the tank cover pure. Competitors Both bikes run six-speed transmissions and shaft drives, but the Cowie lacks the quiet helical gears that the Beamer sports. Given the sport-tastic looks and power delivery, I knew I'd need something other than an American Tour bike for my head-to-head, -head, and the Concours 14 abs from Kawasaki fit the bill nicely. Although a bit more full-paneled with an almost futuristic panache, the Concours falls into the same Sport Tour mold as the Beamer, more or less. One notable difference would be the hard bags that come stock on the Concours and leave it the more Tour-worthy of the two right off the floor. Cowie wins out a bit in the displacement department with a 1,352cc engine versus the 1,170cc Beamer plant. Predictably, the Cowie's power figures bear this out with 153 horsepower and 100 pounds of grunt against the Beamer's 125 ponies and 92 pounds. Both bikes run six-speed transmissions and shaft drives, but the Cowie lacks the quiet helical gears that the Beamer sports. Unlike the Beamer, the Concours comes with adjustable front forks, but Cowie has nothing to compare to BMW's electronic suspension. ABS is present across the board, as are big, dual front brakes and larger than normal rear discs. The stock R1200 rupees rolls for $15,245, a bit less expensive than the stock Concours at $15,599, sure, the price is just barely more expensive, but the adjustable front end is a nice feature, and certainly hurts the checkbook less than the premium BMW package. He said. I won't belabor the lack of baggage, though it is definitely an issue for me. In fact, the whole fast and loose attitude around categorizations is kind of wearisome. The details that turn this street bike into a tourer are really subtle, and even the name tourer loses meaning. I realize the word means different things to different people, but I just wish they would admit that we are right and do it our way. Wink, nudge. She said. My wife and fellow motorcycle rider, Alan Hinton, says, I have to agree with my husband on the baggage thing. Calling a bike a tourer in the US market implies there is storage, but I guess if you're serious about touring, you might instead be looking at the R1200 RT that comes with bags. The R1200 rupees is in BMW's sport bike category after all. 
Still, as the reincarnation of BMW's original sport tourer, it's a lightweight compared to the head-to-head -head pick of the Concours, and even though the power and torque numbers don't look as impressive on paper, that boxer engine delivers all through the rev range so it doesn't disappoint. Specifications References See our review of the Kawasaki Concour 14. If you liked this video, please share your thoughts in the comments below and don't forget to hit the subscribe button.